Hey guys, so um, now I kind of wanted to talk about the different bones of the hand. Here you have the anterior view of the right hand, just like this. If I were kind of showing it to you like that, you're gonna have the radius, which is on the thumb side, the ulna, which is on the pinky side. So there's a series of eight carpal bones that make up the, the wrist, right? They come in rows of four. So this is gonna be a lot, I don't know how well this is gonna work out, but you can see we're gonna start right here with the carpal bone right here that is um, connects to the wrist on the thumb side. So it doesn't matter what view, anterior or posterior, you're talking about. As long as you start right here, you'll be uh, good to go. So this first bone that connects the radius to the rest of the hand on the thumb side is called the scaphoid. Stop. So if we go towards the pinky, it goes scaphoid. Lunate is the next bone. The bone connected to the lone lunate is called the triquitrum. And then this little bone that sits on kind of more anterior on the trichotum, that got the little bump right there, that's called the pisiform. So it goes scaphoid, lunate, trichotrum, pisiform. If we go back over here to the scaphoid, the next one that we're gonna talk about is called the trapezium. Then if we go um, more medial, it goes trapezium, trapezoid, capate, capitate is this large bone right there, and then hamate is the finally the, the bone that connects to the fifth metacarpal. So in sequence, the first four, scaphoid, lunate, triquitrum, pisiform. The second four, it goes trapezium, trapezoid, capitate, hamate. Those guys are going to connect to the metacarpals, one, two, three, four, five, and then the phalanges. If we flip them over, you got the same sequence of bones, just a different view. So starting on the thumb side, you see the scaphoid, lunate, triquitrum. You can't see the pisiform because the pisiform is more on the anterior side of that triquitrum, right? Then if you go over to the second row, that's where we're gonna find the trape trapezium, trapezoid, capitate, and then hamate. That, I, know, I don't know how clear that was, but at least you get, I don't know, you get that version in addition to looking at your textbook. So learning that order is gonna be the most important part for learning those bones. Thanks.